All right, a little bit of a reveal here today. It looks like the Steam page has launched for Reponse de Leonesse. So let's take a look here. This, is, this looks to be the actual little um, clip that we're going to see in the campaign selection screen. There's no sound, or else I wouldn't be talking, so you could all enjoy it. So it, it looks exactly like her model. I mean, it's it's an amazing, amazing rendition of her in Total War Warhammer. I mean, like, the only thing missing is a big giant banner, but we all know about the thing with banners. <laughs> so let's take a look here. Obviously, this is going to be the FLC that's going to be coming out alongside Shadow and the Blade. Uh, so you'll get this no matter what. Um, we can see this glorious picture here. Rapunz, we can see uh, Henry Le Mastif, or Massif, Massif. Some Knights Errant. So it's looking to be pretty hot and spicy here. Um, I'm not going to butcher this word, as so many uh, French speakers have told me that I did not speak uh, gear properly like I thought I did. Um, but we also get mainly, mainly a starting location for her on the Mortal Empires map in the coast of Araby. It looks to be the city of Koffer with uh, Mark in the Black starting right here in the lower left. And you have a lot of things going on over here. The nice thing is that on the Mortal Empires map, remember, Clan Eshin doesn't start where they do on the Vortex map. They're actually over here on the Mortal Empires map. So it doesn't crowd this area up even more so with two more lords starting there. There's only one. And, and I'm actually, I'm all for that uh, because, you know, Malice Darkblade's over here as well. So he won't be um, trouncing over here uh, in the first early turns of your Mortal Empires campaign if you decide to play uh, Rapunzel Leoness. And I'm stoked. I'm stoked on that. Um, I think it's also a really cool and fun place to start with her. Uh, you can see when we take a look at the Vortex map, it's the same exact thing. She starts in Koffer in the coast of Araby on the far left side over here. Um, Land of Assassins over there on the left again with uh, Ark in the Black. Land of Dervishes, you're going to be having um, Snitch right here. And then you're gonna also going to be seeing, of course, all of your Kemri and everything over here with your Tomb Kings. Now you do have Sudenberg there and there, and you're going to have also your dwarfs right there. So as far as variety goes for a Bretonia campaign, there's a lot going on. I mean, you clearly have the High Elves to the north, and then you clearly have um, Sartusa over here to the far right at the Gulf of Stufaga, or Stufaga. So there's a lot of fun in this Bretonian campaign. And I like this a lot because if you take a look at it from like an errantry war or what we would look at as modern day crusade, modern day, uh, uh, a crusade in our own timeline, not, not a modern day one. <laughs> um, if you take a look at this, it's awesome, right? So you can have this whole uh, grand crusade for Raponce as she kind of makes this huge, 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 um, I guess, trek east into the land of the dead, the Ash River, the Shifting Sands, the Great Desert. And you're going to be pretty much just capturing all this Tomb Kings territory if you decide to go in that direction. Let's take a look here at the actual Steam page. We can get a little bit of, a, um, I guess, information here, but there's not much. Uh, I thought there was going to be a whole bunch of information on her Lord, Lord abilities and stuff like that, but it doesn't look like that's the case. We can still go over, though, I guess, what is present here. So that we know that uh, she's armed with the mighty sword of Leoness uh, and fighting beside her trusty paladin companion, Henry Le Massif, she embodies the unrelenting crusading spirit of her brethren. Leading the faction of Chevalier de Leoness, Raponce wages a chivalric conquest across the Southlands to ensure the foul filth of the undead Skaven and Greenskins are cleansed from the desert plains. So it's pretty much a Grand Crusade east right because you think of you got skaven there you've got tomb kings there uh you also have the uh what the neck brotherhood um you have all of the savage orcs in the northeastern portion of that little uh, of the southlands assuming that you know they stay alive long enough from the tomb kings so it looks like your your natural ally is going to of course be the dwarfs right there sudenberg because their empire the uh, high elves to the north so at least you have a lot of really cool natural trade partners and you will have access to clearly a lot of ports with all those cities around there. Um, I guess you're, the only thing you're really going to have to deal with that's going to be annoying is both Count Noctilus and Sartosa. So that'll probably be the most annoying portions of the campaign outside of dealing with an endless amount of 20 stacks from uh, the Tomb Kings. But a very powerful close combat warrior, she has several unique skills granting her range or her, her aid range of bonuses, including physical resistance and melee defense for her and her army. Well, this should be a really fun and interesting lord because it's clearly taking on the role of a questing knight, right? 
this is again spot on what her fifth edition fourth edition fifth edition uh model looks like so it's amazing to kind of see this come to life and uh, again you're looking at a questing knight variant of legendary lord versus our other ones which were in all intents and purposes a grail knight i mean leon leonka from a um lore perspective is a grail knight i'm not too sure about albrecht off the top of my head i actually think he might be a questing knight um i i'll, I'll look that up after this and put it in the comments and then fey enchantress is of course the Fey Enchantress. So it's cool to get that questing knight style as far as just having uh, a big great sword, a uh, cavalry mounted lord, well, lady in this case, versus, you know, the typical sword and shield or lance and shield type uh, uh, lord variant that we kind of see with other portions of Bretonia. So um, you're probably wondering, though, when are we going to find out more information about this? I've got good news. We're, we don't need to wait. We don't need to wait a long time to go into this. We can just wait until tomorrow. So Today, the embargo has lifted for both uh, Malice Darkblade and Deathmaster Snitch campaigns. Um, a lot of channels will be streaming that. We'll be having their first episodes of those uh, campaigns up on their channel. I have decided to do Rapunzel Leoness as my playthrough for my campaign, and that'll be starting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, which is, I think, what um, uh, I want to say, 5 p.m. Uh, GMT. So... If you want to see what Rapunzel's um, campaign is all about, she's got some amazing skills. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to talk about them because of, uh, you know, all the legal NDAs that, that all of us are under. So um, we'll get into those tomorrow when we can. Um, also, we have this awesome, awesome picture for the thumbnail that h for havoc created. So you'll be able to see this up on the channel. Um, of course, when we when we go live, I'm going to put it up in the community page. A huge shout out to h for havoc So if you haven't actually checked out h for havoc please, please, please go ahead over to his channel. He does amazing videos with a lot of high quality editing, a lot of really cool cuts. I mean, he's just, he's amazing at what he does. And he does all of the thumbnails for a lot of big YouTubers. Uh, Lionheart is one of them, uh, but he does a lot of really great stuff. So huge shout out to h for havoc And we will be uh, streaming Rapunzel tomorrow. And I have two keys for the Shadow and the Blade to give out tomorrow as well. So if you are looking to get the DLC for free, hopefully, Head on over to uh, the stream tomorrow. Starts again at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 5 p.m. GMT. By the time I uh, finish this video, I'll double check that. But um, I'll double check to see if that's the actual GMT time. But guys, I'm so excited to show you guys Rapunzel and her uh, glorious glory, uh, with her massive cleaver, and with Henry Le Massif. Um, if you have uh, any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But if you do plan on picking up the Shadow and the Blade, there is a link to the uh, Fanatical Games link to, uh, to purchase it. Uh, you simply go ahead and click that and you can purchase the game through Fanatical Games. You will get a Steam key, but it's a great way to help out the channel because it does, 10% of that does go towards me. So you don't have to actually uh, worry about you know, buying it through a separate platform that you don't actually play on, you'll get a Steam key, you can redeem it on Steam, and it helps the channel a lot. But as always, guys, just wanted to do a quick little uh, news video, a little information video on uh, Rapunzel. So looking forward to showing her off to you tomorrow. It's going to be a grand crusade for the lady. But as always, guys, have a good one and take care.